everyone this is Kalpana here so in this video we are going to see two problems on integration okay first one integral x square plus 1 by x square whole cube into dx solution so evaluate integral x square plus 1 by x square whole cube since we know that a plus b whole cube equals to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b now we are going to apply this formula so you get x square whole cube plus 1 by x square whole cube plus 3 into x square into 1 by x square into x square plus 1 by x square. Okay. Into dx. One by x square whole cube plus three into x square into one by x square into x square plus one by x square to dx. Okay. So this is equal to integral x power six. Plus 1 by x power 6. Since you are having x power. X is square whole cube. Okay. X power a whole power b can be written as x power a b. Okay. Plus. 3 into x square by x square. So you will get x square. So here x square gets cancelled. Finally you will get 3 into so take LCM x square in the numerator you will get x square into x square x power 4 plus 1 to dx ok so you could write it as x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6 plus 3 into x power 4 by x square plus 1 by x square to dx. Since we are having two terms in the numerator, so finally we can split the total expression to two terms. Okay, two fractions or else. The total fraction into two fractions. We will just split it into two fractions. Okay. So this is equals to integral x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6 plus 3 into x power 4 can be written as x square into x square. Okay, plus 3 into 3 into 1 by x square or 3 into 1 by x square. You can write into dx. Okay, x square x square gets cancelled. So finally, this is equals to integral x power 6 dx plus integral 1 by x power 6 dx plus integral 3x square dx plus 
इंटीग्रल थ्री इंटू वन बाई एक्स स्क्वेर डी एक्स और यू कैन राइट थ्री बाई एक्स स्क्वेर डी एक्स ओके नाउ टेक द कॉन्स्टेंट आउटसाइड द इंटीग्रल सेल गेट एक्स पॉल सिक्स डी एक्स प्लस यू कैन राइट वन बाई एक्स पॉल सिक्स एस एक्स पॉल माइनस सिक्स डी डी एक्स सेंस वन बाई एक्स कैन बी रिटर्न एस एक्स इनवर्स सो यू कैन राइट वन बाई एक्स पॉल सिक्स एस एक्स पॉल माइनस सिक्स राइट प्लस थ्री इनटू इंटीग्रल एक्स स्क्वेयर डी एक्स प्लस थ्री इनटू वन बाई एक्स स्क्वेयर डी एक्स ओके अगेन यू कैन राइट वन बाई एक्स स्क्वेयर एस एक्स पॉल माइनस टू x power minus two. Okay. Now simply we are going to apply formula integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus one by n plus one plus integral constant c when n is not equals to minus one. So we are having six minus six. Two and minus two. We don't have any n equals to minus one, so we can apply this formula. So this equals to integral x power six dx can be written as x power six plus one by six plus one plus x power minus six plus one by minus six plus one plus three into x power two plus one by two plus one plus three into x power minus two plus one by minus two plus one plus integral constant c. So this is equals to x power six plus one seven. x power ten by seven plus x power minus six plus one is minus five by minus five plus three into or three by two into x power three by is three right? Wait. Three into x cube by three plus three into x one minus one plus one minus two plus one. Sorry, minus two plus one is minus one. So x power minus one by minus one plus c. Okay. Here three three gets cancelled. So this is equals to x power seven by seven minus one by five into x power minus five can be written as one by x power five plus x cube minus three into x inverse can be written as one by x, right? X inverse can be written as One by x, then x inverse equals to one by x. X power minus five equals to one by x power five. Okay, simply we have replaced x inverse and x power minus five. Okay, and I forgot to include integral constant, so you get plus c. Okay, so therefore. Integral x square plus one by x square whole cube dx equals to x power seven by seven 
minus 1 by 5 into x power 5 plus x cube minus 3 by x plus c. Okay. Now coming to the second problem. Second one, integral x cube minus x square plus x minus 1 by x minus 1 into dx. So, this is equals to integral. So, now consider the first two terms. Here you are having x cube and x square. So, from these two you can take x square common. Then you will get x square into x minus 1. And obviously, the last two terms are x minus 1 by x minus 1 into dx. So, this is equal to integral. Now, take x minus 1 common. If you take x minus 1 common, you will get x minus 1 into x square plus 1. If you don't have anything here, consider 1 when you don't have anything. Okay? By x minus 1 into dx. So now cancel x minus 1, x minus 1. So you will get integral x square plus 1 into dx. So you would write it as integral x square dx plus integral 1 into dx. Since we know that integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c then n is not equals to minus 1 and also you have the formula integral dx equals to x or x plus c. So this equals to since you are having since you are having n equals to 2 which is not equals to 1 which is not equals to minus 1 sorry which is not equals to minus 1 so you can apply this formula you will get x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus Integral dx equals to x plus integral constant c. So, this equals to x cube by 3 plus x plus c. So, this completes the problem. See, integral 1 dx or integral dx is equals to x. Okay. Integral 1 dx or integral dx are both are same. These two are same. Don't get confused. Okay. So fine. We have seen two integrals in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.